Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. Today's news, Dish Wireless Focused. Looks like they have some developments going on within the business operations. Uh, it's always interesting when we get Dish news because they're one of the most um, least vocal of all the wireless providers. Uh, generally speaking, Verizon and AT&T are very low-key. Uh, T-Mobile is a very loud carrier, and Dish is, is basically there in secrecy. And they're also the newest and the greenest company of all. So they're going to be entering you know, the wireless market as the new fourth carrier replacing Sprint, who was officially retired as of yesterday. And uh, that day has come and gone, and it is a new day. And uh, Dish Wireless uh, has made some moves in terms of building out its network. So here goes this update. So Dish has effectively selected VMware for its cloud-based standalone 5G network uh, initially for this build. So 100% uh, software-based and a multi-vendor-based approach to their build-out of their standalone 5G network. We know of Mavenir from previous updates. We know of Altio Star, and also uh, we've known of Fujitsu. And a lot of these companies, you know, being cloud-based, it made perfect sense that you know, Dish and Charlie Ergen, their president and uh, and head honcho, you know, have gone this way. So 100% cloud-based, completely cloud-native based, open RAN architecture, pegging VMware to operate everything going on with their network. The open RAN and cloud-based systems will allow Dish to scale on demand and be a very versatile, adaptable, and uh, flexible network uh, moving forward. So whether it's in the public or the private network sector or cabinets, you know, if they decide to go with a lot of edge computing solutions, automation, security, surveillance, being able to provide tiered access with lots of network slicing, this type of configuration with what Dish is gonna do should fit the bill. VMware will also provide the IT support for Dish. This is excellent. This should really streamline things for Dish and for VMware. No information. On the monetary value of the deal, I'm sure it was probably a, a nice amount. VMware is probably very happy with this, landing this contract. Uh, the trends moving forward is all about software-based, cloud-based solutions, and the market is moving that way. They're moving away from the outdated legacy approach where everything is hardware-based when it comes to network operations. There's limitations to scale. Things are too static and not dynamic enough. This should really help companies be very versatile moving forward. We know AT&T is going this way, and we know Verizon is going this way, and eventually T-Mobile will get there as well. So the SMT takeaways from this news, piece by piece, we're starting to get an understanding of what the network plan is going to be for Dish, and it's really starting to come together. We have brands, we have companies, we have software-based approaches and understandings of the network. Things are starting to come together. We also are aware that Dave Mayo, formerly of T-Mobile fame, is going to be running the employment side of things. They are hiring uh, both on the retail side as well as the management team. They're engaging in discussions and establishing the core fundamental establishment of their network operations, their RAN systems, the standalone 5G network, software vendors, things are really starting to come together. And the second piece of this here is the network deal with T-Mobile for seven, the next seven years. Now we know that that's in place. We know that their 5G standalone uh, network is going to have to reach 70% of the US population by 2023. And we know that their tower builds are going to be picking up at least no later than the end of this year. Some are giving it uh, lofty expectations and saying that the build will start in quarter three of 2020. But I think based on the pandemic, it's probably more realistic to see a build more into the end of quarter four 2020. So we'll probably start getting some word from companies like Crown Castle, American Tower. Those companies have already indicated that nothing is in place yet with Dish Wireless or with Dish Network, but they are expecting it in the near term future. So um, I think the more realistic expectation should be the end of this year moving into next year. Uh, the 2022 concessions put Dish as having to have 20% of the population covered with their standalone 5G. And then by 2023, that number uh, exponentially jumps to 70% population. If they do not 
there is a multi-billion dollar penalty that will go to the United States Treasury. So obviously Dish is motivated. They don't want to just pay fines and be hurt financially. They will be looking to meet these requirements and build out a very solid, effective, and profitable network. What say you? What do you guys think of the, this news? What do you think of the deals that they've set in place? Do you see it like I do? Things are starting to come together. We're starting to understand everything, and we're starting to see what they're planning on doing forward uh, with their network build. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Uh, that's really pretty much it for this one. Please do me a solid. If you enjoy the daily dedication from the SMT, rate this video, hit that like button, and then share it to all of your favorite social media applications. Uh, maybe it's your first time here and you haven't done so already, maybe you've been lurking, hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And here are some other videos for you to check out if you're not ready to leave the channel. There's also all the links in the description box for all things happening in the community. We've got the Patreon page link. We have the Twitter handle at Sneetech where we also do Periscope Lives. And then we have, of course, the uh, audio-only version of the podcast. We're on every single major platform. Do check those things out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of the day. I'm the SMT, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.